Welcome to the world of professional platonic touching. There are a few ways people can get involved. One is through Cuddleless, which is an app where you can make an appointment with a trained cuddling professional for a one-on-one -on -one session. Then there are cuddle parties, and that's where you can experience the benefits in a group setting. What are the benefits, you ask? The people who run it say the benefits are a feeling of empowerment, working on being direct, improving your listening skills, and learning to respect people's wishes as well as their personal space. To see what professional cuddling was all about and how it could potentially help someone, Cheddar met with the founder and gave it a go. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick Jones. And I'm Kirsten O'Brien. And today we're gonna get cuddled. Professionally. Um, I don't feel nervous, I'm kind of excited, I don't which is that. weird. I don't that at all. And uh, as just like a Irish Neanderthal, touch is, uh, makes me feel very weird about everything. I just, <laughs> yeah. it feels awkward, you know? Uh, do I have permission to? Okay. <laughs> that, you're laughing at me, it's like definitely the whole so why did Cuddle Parties get started? Hey, uh, my name is Adam Lippin. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Cuddleless. I really believe that touch is the original medicine. It's our most original healing modality. Touch shouldn't just be for those lucky enough, lucky enough to be in like healthy relationships. Touch should be available for everyone. So there are people who are lonely for whatever reason, some people that may have gone through a lot of loss, maybe they're on the Asperger's syndrome, and they need to work through issues relating to relating to other people. They're having trouble connecting with others. They're having trouble communicating with others. I have um, clients who are having issues within their relationships. We're looking to address the crisis of loneliness. Loneliness will decrease your lifespan by eight years if you're a man and six years if you're a woman. It leads to depression, anxiety, chronic illnesses. I'm a journalist. <laughs> you guys buy that, right? <laughs> I know you're now probably wondering, what are the rules of a cuddle party? There's two primary rules. So one primary rule is you must ask and receive a verbal yes before you touch anyone. And we practice that skill. And another is you're not required to do anything here. So when a cuddleist is having a session with the client, that mask of personality disappears. Any expectation of anything happening disappears. So two people are relating to each other as authentic beings. They see each other as authentic beings. That changes the dynamic, and then that's where really, really positive exchange can happen. What about you? How do you feel? I feel good. I mean, I'm a pretty, like, comfortable person as far as, like, physical touch. We were also curious about how the lessons at Cuddleless would translate to the work environment. Respect in the workplace should be a given, but as we've seen lately, that's not always the case. So where does it start? Well, with consent. If I was starting over, the word cuddle party would be consent workshop. In general, there are two critical communication skills that you learn with a cuddleist and a cuddle party that are essential that everyone in a work environment needs to know right now. How to ask, how to be really clear. The second part is hearing the answer, right? So especially in a work environment, we're here, we, we hear no as an invitation to negotiate. We hear it as a challenge. We, we don't accept it. There are a few exercises that we do in the beginning of the cuddle party. And um, one of them was very simple. If you're a yes, you're a yes. If you're a no, you're a no. If you're a maybe, you're a no. Can I give you a hug? No, thank you. Thank you for taking care of yourself. May I give you a hug? Yes. May I give you a hug? No, thank you. It seems very simple, but that stayed with me. I was like, wow. You know, especially for us women, um, it's very important to be able to, to say no, to learn to say no, and to not have that no questioned. You don't have to explain why. You don't have to apologize. It's just your no means no. Individually, I'm a sexual assault and domestic violence survivor, and I've been in positions before where my no was not respected. And um, having that respected um, within the opening circle, that, like, I sobbed afterwards. That was a very healing experience for me. If you're not sort of looking at relationships in a work environment in a more holistic way, and really understanding the concept of emotional safety and what your role in creating emotional safety is, and what your role is to make your coworkers feel more comfortable, you're not gonna move ahead. This is a learned skill and you can practice it, you can learn it very quickly and implement it right now. It will change your life. Eventually, you'll break off into a group and decide what you as a group would like to do. Some people are more comfortable than others when it comes to cuddling strangers on camera. 
shake hands. <laughs> 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 we, can, we can start with, with shaking hands or touching hands. We all do it together. Okay. So all right. I know yes to that. I'm a yes to that. Right? I'm a yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Just, like, make a circular like. Okay. There you go. <laughs> nice. Okay. This I... feels safe. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point that out. Yeah. This was Patrick said. We're all gonna do this. Yeah, great. Right. finished our first ever cuddle party. That's right. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel really relaxed. It was like a much more affordable massage in a way. Nice. Yeah. I feel acutely aware of how uptight I am. <laughs> <laughs> like... But you learned something about yourself. I did. I think the, the whole idea of asking women actually what they want and like that there's there's kind of some confusion around that. I think the cuddlest cuddle parties could be beneficial to a lot of people, both for work environments, uh, personal relationships. Mm -hmm. I think it could really be great. And it was, it was kind of fun. It's a good place to yeah. be uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm Patrick right. Jones. I'm Kirsten O'Brien. And this has been Cheddar Tries Cuddle Party. Let us know your thoughts or tips in the comments below and please like and subscribe.